remember the 1340s? We were doing a dance called the Catapult. You always wore brown, the color craze of the decade. And I was draped in one of those capes that were popular, the ones with unicorns and pomegranates and needlework. Everyone would pause for beer and onions in the afternoon, and at night we'd play a game called Find the Cow. <laughs> Everything was hand-lettered then, not like today. Where has the summer of 1572 gone? <laughs> Brocade and sonnet marathon used to trip up, dress up in the flags of rival baronies and conquer one another in old rooms of stone. Out on the dance floor, we were all doing the struggle while your sister practiced the staff me all along in her room. We borrowed the jargon of farriers for our slang. These days, language seems transparent, a badly broken code. 1790s will never come again. Childhood was big. People would take walks to the very tops of hills and write down what they saw in their journals without speaking. Our collars were high and our hats were extremely soft. We would surprise each other with alphabets made of twigs. It was a wonderful time to be alive, or even dead. I'm very fond of the period between 1815 and 1821. Europe trembled while we sat for our portraits. And I would love to return to 1901, if only for a minute, a, a moment, time enough to wind up a music box and do a few dance steps. Or shoot me back to 1922 or 1941, or at least let me capture the serenity of last month. And we picked berries and glided through the afternoon in a canoe. Even this morning would be an improvement over the present. I was in the garden then, surrounded by the hum of bees and the Latin names of flowers, watching the early light flash off slanted windows of the greenhouse and silver the limbs on the row of dark hemlock. As usual, I was thinking about the moments of the past, letting my memory rush over them like water rushing over the stones on the bottom of a stream. I was even thinking a little about the future, that place where people are doing a dance we cannot imagine a dance whose name we can only guess. Nostalgia.